Hey, so we are back from an amazing trip in Africa and on this Valentine's Day we thought we'll sit and talk you through our five favorite experiences in Africa which are perfect for a couple. But if you're going to Africa or anywhere else for that matter, make sure you carry a good toiletries kit with lots and lots of sunscreen, micellar water to clean the dust and grime off your face, insect repellent, very very important and lots of people forget that. In, in Africa especially. Yeah. Especially. And things like blister plasters because you never know when you might need them and face wash of course. A micellar water is actually the perfect everyday cleanser for our travels and I've gotten a bit hooked to it too because it's perfect for self sensitive skin which I have and it also cleans all the dust and grime off your face you literally especially in places like you know deep jungles in Africa yeah. where there's no access to running water and so... we did have running water a couple of days which is why we just used this and all you need to do is pour press and swipe and that's it so you just pour it here and you just and swipe I'm, I'm the model this. yeah he's swipe. it's pretty ideal because it's Valentine's Day <laughs> <laughs> That's out of the way, let's go on to the list of experiences. We have some of our favorites here, but I have to have to begin with one of my personal favorites, which is a road trip in South Africa. Now, this is something that should top your bucket list for Africa, especially if you're in a honeymoon or a couple's getaway, or even if you're traveling with family, because it offers so much. You can go to vineyards, you can do safaris, you can do a really, really scenic and pretty road trip, but you can also indulge in adventure sports. And this is a combination that's very hard to find in many countries. So South Africa definitely is the number one spot. What about you? What are you um, I'll, I'll have to start from a very, very decent experience. And that was the Gorilla Tracking Safari. Um, it's amazing. You wake up super early in the morning, in fact, middle of the night. You drive uh, to the forest, you trek in Rwandan. Uh, rainforests and you know just go through such dense uh, vegetation and then you chance upon or you find uh, a family of gorillas there's a silverback uh, there are cute little um, gorilla babies it's absolutely amazing yeah. to see their mannerisms and you know just observe them also a little scary i mean yeah yeah, yeah. Guys. and you, you're not supposed to move so yeah. you're told that you can't go um, uh, closer than say 10 meters mm -hmm. But if they are coming to you, you can't move. So there are times when they're just right in your face. Yeah. But uh, you get one hour and it's uh, probably uh, a very, very memorable uh, one hour that, I, that we have spent uh, yeah. in, in the last in few fact, years. In fact, the third experience that I would pick is also one of the more recent ones. And it's something that we did expect to be part of this bucket list because yeah. it's the drummers in Burundi, yeah. which is from a very recent trip. We honestly did not expect to enjoy Burundi as much as we did. And it was only on getting there that we realized drumming is considered sacred and spiritual there and we got to go to this little village where you can actually witness the very rare dance of the royal drummers in Burundi and when I tell you guys it was it was a high like no other it's almost it was just the two of us no other tourists and a few villagers and everybody I mean everybody was dancing at the end of it, it was it was just really something special. that was so special and it really needs to be experienced. So if you're fond of offbeat experiences, then definitely put the dramas of Burundi on your wish list. What's next? Um, for me, uh, because this trip holds a special place in my heart because it was on my birthday a couple of years ago, and also it was a it was a beautiful surprise by Savi. So uh, yeah. it's right up there, and this was the big five safari game watching in Kenya. Uh, we went to Masai Mara, you can go to Masai Mara or Serengeti, both are amazing. And the last experience is also something that's perfect if you're looking for a honeymoon because it makes for the most relaxed beach getaway and that's Zanzibar. This little island off the coast of Tanzania has the bluest waters and it makes for such such a beautiful getaway. You can just spend your time relaxing by the beach, you can indulge in some water sports, the food is great, the food is people are great. <laughs> We heard so many stories, the yeah. history, the culture, everything is beautiful and it's something that I would definitely recommend if you're looking for a little bit of an offbeat beach getaway. And those are our five experiences. Uh, to be continued because we'll be traveling more and more to Africa in the, in the coming year and we'll keep adding to yes. this list. And we have detailed guides of all these five experiences on our website. So in case you're planning a trip, make sure you read those so that you can plan the perfect trip for yourself and your plus one. Happy Valentine's Day! 
Bye.